This is the 2023 Fleetwood Frontier 34 GT. We're going to give you a tour of the outside first, then we'll take you inside. Then I'll give you my pet peeve, Sherry's favorite feature, and a build quality rating. Let's go. At the front, we have this aggressive looking front end for the Frontier. We have a large windshield and the wipers on this particular model are on top. In the mirrors, these large mirrors, we have cameras in the top corner. So they're up high so you can get a better view of the road. As we pass the door, your fuel fill is right here. First storage bay. And then we'll go to the second storage bay. Now this one's quite large. I like the way both the doors open, John. Is that, is that fully extended on the left there? There you are. Okay. And then you have this slide out tray that goes all the way across the bay. And it comes out that far. If you have heavy items that you have to get in and out of your rig, this tray makes it easy for you to do that. Let's close it up. Next storage bay. This storage bay has your power transfer switch and you have your Dirt Devil vacuum system. And going to the back. Hey John, you didn't tell us about these tires yet. They are 22.5s. Here we are. This is where your power switches are. You have your slide disconnect and you have your inverter disconnect and the inverter system on, to, on the left there. Uh, you also have your MPPT solar controller in there as well. Yes, you do. You are so smart. <laughs> I learned everything from you, John. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, last pay on the passenger side has your hydraulic fluid. Coming around the back, you have your half ladder and easy access to all your fluids right here. Hey, John, why don't you tell us about the engine? The engine is a 6.7 liter, 340 horsepower Cummings that produces 700 foot-pounds of torque. This has a 10,000 pound hitch and it has your brake sink right here and your power connector for your tow vehicle. Hey Sherry, check out this chrome exhaust. That's pretty cool. <laughs> now follow me around the other side. I always do, John. <laughs> so we have four six volt batteries in parallel in series. Behind that, the silver canister is your air filter. Easy access there too. Next, we have our power cord reel and our engine batteries above that, and def tank. Here is our wet bay. We have our outdoor shower, low point drains, your black tank flush, your city water inlet, your filter, and your pump up there. And we have a power outlet right over here. Down below we have your black and gray tank dump. Moving right along. This is the other side of your storage bay with the slide out. And here is your Aquahot 250D water heater. Here on the driver's side you also have a place to fill up your diesel. And finally, we have the front area, which actually has a, a port for high pressure air, so you can fill your tires from here and any toys you have. Under the bay, we have the exhaust for your aqua hot and for your generator. And your generator is right behind this panel and we cannot show you because, well, Space is a little tight. Before we go inside, let me tell you tank sizes. 
the fresh water is 96, the gray water is 65, and the black water is 45. Let's check out the inside. Here is a comfortable driver's seat. Let's see what we have. We have your mirror controls on the far side. You have your headlight controls, your collision mitigation device. Here is where your hands-free operation, your nav, your phone, your radio, your cameras, climate control, and your various controls here for the generator, auxiliary start, utility lights. Hey John, on the passenger side, is there any kind of a desk or anything over there? Well, let's see. I do not see any kind of desk in this particular vehicle. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. It is. Even in the low-end models, you usually have a little workstation for the passenger. You do. You All do. Right. Come on back, John. Let's see what else we have. Up above me, you'll see this drop-down hide-aloft bunk. This is rated for 500 pounds. And behind me, we have some additional cabinets. This one on the right it has your Wi-Fi Ranger and your television lockout and some extra ports. You have USB and 110 in there. The one on the left, ooh, that's stiff. The one on the left has your king antenna controls and I stand corrected, your TV lockout is on this side. And you have speakers up front as well. Next, we'll look at the living and dining area. And you know where I have to go first. Ooh. How is that, John? That is soft. <laughs> Let's see. I do not seem to have power for this at the moment. But is it power, John? It is power. It has two buttons here, one up, one down. Uh, so in and out. We have here a very large storage area and cup holders in the middle. You know, John, I'm curious. We're here um, at the Hershey RV show. Yeah. And, um, you know, these models can take a lot of abuse. Do you yes. want to try the other one and see if it works, to see maybe if it's broken versus power? Because it's possible it's just not hooked up. Okay, so... Yeah, it seems like it just... It's uh, just not hooked up, the, probably. Or it has a power switch that you have to activate. This one isn't working either, so it's probably unplugged. Now, above me... We have storage cabinets. Let's take a look inside. Now, do these go all the way through, John? They do. They do go all the way through. And as you can see right here, we have connectors. So you do have TV equipment back here. You have your TV switch in this cabinet. So you can hook up X devices to your TVs. Now, directly across from me, we go to the dining area. Oh, John, it looks like there's a sound bar up there. That's there is a sound bar. And do you know why? There's a televator. There's a televator here. Okay. Okay. That's, um, this is a sizable table. This is quite a large table. I think this is a good size. The seats are comfortable. And these actually fold down into a bed. Now, John, something very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and put the televator up. Okay. That is so oh. loud. Now, we heard this, and we put one up in another unit, and it was loud, too. It was. And we thought it was just that one. Now, in the other unit, it was loud the whole way up. At least this one has quieted down some. It has. But you're right. The other one, it starts out loud. Something to keep in mind. Hey, John, you want to finish the living area? There's some more things here that I think we need to show. And what would that be? The fireplace? Mm -hmm. We have this fireplace here next to your theater seats. And we have this area. That's nice shelving. It is. And the glass. What do you think of that? I like the glass. I like the patterns. It's pretty. It is. And below that, 
we have a small door that comes out. Now, John, something I've seen on quite a few Fleetwood diesel models, in particular, if you move a little bit to the left, is that they have a tendency to put these fireplaces right next to the chairs. Yes, I And I worry about the heat that's being generated from the fireplace so close to this, the chairs and the sofas. Yes, I would think that wouldn't be good, having a chair that close to something that provides that much heat. Yep. All right, John, let's uh, keep going with this. Let's take a look at the kitchen. Here we go. We have what I've seen that's common for 2023, the black fixtures, a farmhouse sink, and next to that, an induction cooktop with two burners. Above the sink, cabinets with an adjustable shelf, Below the sink, we have deep storage. That is pretty good. You could store a lot of appliances that in there. That is a good amount of space, John. I could put a lot of stuff down there. You could. You could. Let me see. Uh, no. Um, below the stove, we have these long drawers and a large drawer at the bottom. Once again, John... Um I'm seeing that the drawers are not finished. No, they're You've not. You've seen some lower end models of Fleetwood where they actually finish the drawers. The, and we're not seeing that here. Right, right. Please let us know in the comments below what your pet peeve or favorite feature is for this unit. And if you like our content, just click that like button and subscribe. It helps us to get our tours out to a larger audience. Let's continue. Across from the kitchen is the pantry. Now, John, we've said in previous videos that these units take a lot of abuse during yes, the show. And that do. you want to be very careful about buying a show model. Here you can see where the handle has been broken off. Uh, but you do still have to also think, well, why, why did it break off? We don't know if it was a lot of extra force or if it just wasn't on there very well. Looks like there's another one up above. Yes. Oh. And that's your aluminum plex system. Yes. Okay. So, John, I haven't seen that control yet. We'll probably come up to it soon. Let's go to the refrigerator. Right. This is an LG. It's a nice size fridge. It's about right sized for a unit like this. It's it is. about 35 feet, a little over 35 feet. A little over, almost 37. Uh, this is 35 feet, 4 inches. Oh, 35, 4. Okay, great. Well, you know where I'm going? To the bathroom. Yes. All right. Here's the shower. How about you turn the light on, John, so that we can all see? All right. Thank there. you. You're welcome. All right, let's see what the shower is like, John. Uh, let's open the door the other way. Very tall. It's respectable size. Has a seat in it as well. Take a look at the rest of the bathroom, John. You know me and uh, toilets and toilet paper. That's kind of an awkward place for the toilet paper holder, it I think. You've got to reach behind you. Yes. Okay, well, yes, let's take a look do. at the, the cabinets and the... You have three drawers on this side, and you have this cabinet. Okay. Above the sink, we have two medicine cabinets. A deep corner cabinet. And this one, which is also pretty deep for a medicine oh, cabinet. Oh, it is very deep. Yeah. Now, I'm curious, John, if this is like some of the other ones we've seen. It is a little okay. bit, yes. And once again, you saw the dark um, fixtures that they love this year. Now, we're moving into the bedroom, but past the precision circuits. This does all of your levels, your lighting, your slides, your awnings, utilities, etc. Before we get into the bedroom. Oh, so you have some more pantry space here. Yeah, these are slide out drawers. There are two of them in there. And, and more below. Two more slide out drawers at the bottom. That's an interesting pantry. 
And let me see if I can get the light in here, and I can. Here we go. We're in the bedroom now. Uh, and we have your television. Now, John, is there storage behind there, or is it just mounted on the outside? Let us see. No, it is actually just mounted on this. And is it? can you move it around, or is it set in one location? It seems to be set right there. Okay. Yes, it is a solid mount back there, and it's, it's in the wood. So on the side, though, you do have storage, and it does go behind the television. Oh, it does? Okay. Yes, you can reach all the way back. It passes through to the other side. Well, it's nice to have that amount of space. I could see myself losing stuff back there. Ah, yeah, that would it be. It rolls, and then how do you get it? It's going to be pretty challenging. I mean, how far can your arm go back there, John? Uh, maybe to about here. Exactly. Maybe if I get up on the step here, I can go further. Yeah. Uh, below that, you have matching cabinets on both sides. This sh large shelf has USB and 110s in the corner there. We have six drawers like this. Three on this side, three on the opposite side. And in between them, we have this large storage space. We have a king-size bed in this unit with small nightstands with 110 and USB connections on each side. Bed is adjustable. Above the bed, we so have... So, John, wait a minute. That makes me wonder. If the, is the bed adjustable? Do you have to put it up when the slide comes in? You know, you might because of that step. Measure it out. No, no, you don't. You don't. Okay, you don't. good, 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 good. You don't. We have speakers on either side above the bed. We have these cabinets, a small entranceway here, but it's really deep. Oh, that's really, really it deep. It's very, very deep in there. The center one is designed for a CPAP. So if you have a CPAP, there's a 110 power supply on the side, and there's an opening on the bottom. I like the fact that it's lit. It is. As soon as you open the doors, it automatically lights up so you can see what you're doing. Now, John, there's a mirror behind you. There is. Nice, two nice long mirrors. And I'm guessing this is a wardrobe. It is a very large wardrobe. This is a very good size. Oh my gosh, this is a nice size <laughs> wardrobe. Wow. That is pretty impressive. Now, next to it, Louver doors. I wonder what's there. We know what louver doors mean. <laughs> there you are. Full uh, stackable whirlpool washer and dryer. Very convenient. Well, John, that was a great tour. Now it's time for your pet peeve, my favorite feature in our build quality rating. Yeah. So what's your pet peeve, John? My pet peeve is... <laughs> you always get me like this. You start me off first. Okay, you want to switch it? I'll do the pet peeve and you do the favorite feature? Sure. My pet peeve is I do not like how close they put the fireplace to the chairs, to the sofa. Um, it's just odd to me to have it so close. I like it when it's you know on the opposite side or at least you know if it were extended out a little bit further. All right, that's fair. My favorite feature is that closet back there. That oh my thing gosh, is that's huge. a huge closet, isn't it? it wow. It is huge. Well, John, we've also taken a look at every nook and cranny in this right. RV. Let's talk about the build quality. For I, Personally, I think Fleetwood is improving, but there's still some things they could improve on. I think so. I, I mean, I'm seeing things are a bit better. I still don't like the fact that the drawers in a diesel aren't finished. And some of the cabinets, the doors aren't completely aligned. And then, of course, we, all sh we showed you the pantry where the handle came off. Right. Um, so, uh, it, and this is a show model, so that means that it does take a lot of abuse. There are a lot of people going through it. So um, I think, John, I would probably give this one about an 8.5. I think so, because most everything is solid. 
I think so. Yes. All right, folks, that's it for this one. We're on to the next one. And check out more Hershey RV reviews right there. Hey, not on my face. I can change that. Ah. <sighs>